And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. It's Keith once again, and today marks the day that AMD has finally released their updated Radeon Settings Adrenaline version. So if you want to know a lot of details about what this brings to the table, it does bring a lot of software innovations such as overlays, even a mobile app, as well as uh, temperature monitoring. There's, there's a lot of extra stuff added. Feel free to hit the link in the description to go on over to the article that details these out. But what we're going to take a look at today is specifically Radeon RX Vega 64. And well, is this the silver bullet that it's been waiting for? So the reality is AMD very much was upfront about the performance variation of the driver. It's not going to be some magical performance monster powerhouse. It's not gonna really change the landscape of things a whole lot in performance, it's mostly a feature set. But what I wanted to take a look at today is take a look at a few different games as well as uh, 3D Mark Time Spa to see was there in fact a performance differential between its launch and today. So the launch driver is 17.8.1 for the initial launch Vega drivers versus the 17.12.1 adrenaline drivers to see if there's a performance variation in these titles. So we tested it using our X370 test bench with the Ryzen 7 1700 at 3.9 GHz with 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 MHz RAM at CL14. So, all right, taking a look at Deus Ex Mankind divided at 1440p on high preset, we see, well, not much difference. So running it at this resolution with these settings, the drivers made no real significant difference. So moving on from Deus Ex Mankind Divided to Grand Theft Auto 5 with very high down the board with 2x MSAA including 2x MSAA on water we see again pretty much margin of error results we see it I mean you get two FPS on the average but again that to me is within margin of error at that point. So not a whole lot to write home about with GTA 5 at 1440p very high settings. Now moving on to Prey again at 1440p with very high settings we see about the same results. Not a whole lot of difference. There's really within margin of error so nothing to really write home about there either. So moving on to Shadow of War. Shadow of War showed very promising results early on for the RX Vega especially compared to its counterparts on from the G4 side but again we see no real difference. We see the Averages sitting one FPS apart and the 1% 0.1% are identical. So what about um, synthetic? Surely with Time Spa we'll see an improvement, right? So we ran Time Spa three times, took the average of the three runs, and this is where we ended up. Pretty much within margin of error once again. So uh, don't expect a whole lot out of this driver when it comes to performance-wise on the RX Vega chips. Now there may be some performance to be had from last year's to this year's drivers for like the RX 480 they did have that in their marketing material but we specifically wanted to take a look at Vega exclusively so this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV if you found the video entertaining or informative whatsoever you guys know what to do and we will catch you all in the next one